Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a hair care routine video, which I know has been so highly requested. Ever since I started doing skincare routines, people always say, can you please show us your hair care routine? So I feel like I have finally gotten a good grasp on what I like to do with my hair. And so here I am sitting down, gonna walk you through all the products that I use on my hair and how I use them. So I actually recently just cut my hair like a couple days ago, so it's much shorter than it has been on my channel but honestly i love this length so much um i'll tell you a little bit about my hair so i have quite straight very fine very silky um hair it's not super thick and it's not super thin either um i really struggle with volume at my roots because my hair is so silky and so straight it lacks a lot of volume and body and so i'm always looking for products to bring life back into my hair i do have virgin hair so i've never dyed it before um, i rarely ever use heat on my hair i did sleep with my hair like wet last night so it didn't dry like pin straight like it normally does dry but it, it is pretty straight um so i don't need to straighten my hair i am abysmally bad at curling my hair so i never curl my hair um you have seen me occasionally with like wavy hair where i use like um it's basically like a big crimper but it's not like crimping my hair it's just like adding waves to my hair i do that occasionally but for the most part i really try not to use heat on my hair because heat is really really bad for your hair um, and then also in terms of blow drying, I never blow dry my hair. I always let it air dry um, in the evening or like as I sleep overnight, which I don't love doing because it does make my hair less straight because it's like I'm sleeping on it. So, um, you know, some waves get introduced into my hair, but it's not a big deal. Another big thing that I struggle with is masking oil at my roots because I do have, you know, very dark brown slash black hair. So oil shows up very, very easily in my hair and I get very oily hair very quickly. Um, I would say even like if I wash my hair say last night by the end of today um, I will have oily roots so I really do have a hard time with oil in my hair I try not to wash my hair too often because I know that um, it's the same principle with like cleansing your skin cleansing your scalp has similar repercussions so instead of um, you know washing your hair every single day which can be quite stripping and quite drying on the hair regardless of whether or not you use conditioners or not that action of like repeatedly using surfactants in your hair can really damage your hair so I try to wash my hair um, every two to three days that's like the longest I can get away with not washing my hair. Um, I do use dry shampoo, which I will talk about, but I think that's a pretty good background on my hair. So like I said, I shampoo my hair every two to three days. So this is the shampoo that I use. I have no idea if it's BDS safe or not, but I just, it's the only shampoo that has ever truly worked for me. Um, this is the Tresemme Moisture Rich Shampoo. I have tried other shampoos, including like expensive Briogeo shampoos, and none of them work as well as this one. This one is really effective in my opinion because of the ingredients in it. Now the primary surfactant that it uses is sodium laureth sulfate, which you know I'm a really big fan of because it's quite a gentle surfactant on the skin and also on the scalp. So some shampoo ingredients that you should stay away from include sodium laurel sulfate. Just like in a cleanser, sodium laurel sulfate is very harsh and very stripping on the skin. It takes away a lot of the moisture and a lot of the natural oils in your hair slash face. Um, and then also like sodium olefin sulfani is really bad for your hair and skin. But this really is like a very bare bones shampoo. It doesn't do anything special, but that's why I like it because it does the job of cleansing my hair and cleansing my scalp very effectively. But it doesn't leave my scalp feeling very dry or very irritated or flaky or anything like that. And I do find that it does remove buildup from dry shampoo and other products that I use on my hair quite well. So this is a very effective shampoo and it's really, really Really cheap it's at the drugstore so I love this product because it's so inexpensive I feel like I go through shampoo very quickly hence the enormous bottle that I have but um, this is just a shampoo that I have been using since high school basically that has just worked consistently for me so next we move into conditioners and conditioners I personally have the philosophy that leave-in conditioners work a lot better for me than like a deep conditioning masks or conditioners that you wash off in the shower so my two favorites are a uh, drugstore option also an option that's sold at Sephora so the drugstore option is this guy and it is the organics argan oil of Morocco penetrating oil for all hair types what I love about this is that in addition to it having argan oil it contains a ton 
of siloxanes. And silicones are a very hotly debated topic in both skincare and hair care, but I personally am a fan of them because silicones add this beautiful slip to products. And so what a silicone will do for your hair is make your hair very soft, very shiny, and very smooth. It reduces a lot of frizz. So if you are a person that struggles with like very frizzy hair, I think this would be a really good match for you because the silicones in this will really help tame the frizz. I don't personally struggle with frizz, but I personally love the way that it looks on my hair whenever I use it the night before. So I do have it in my hair right now. And you can see just like my hair is just like really soft and it's like I can run my fingers through it. It just feels really nice. It feels really silky. So I really like using this. All I do is on wet hair, not dry hair, wet hair. After I shampoo, um, I'll get out of the shower, dry my hair a little bit with a towel, not super aggressively, just like kind of pat it down. I don't rub. Um, I will take some of this in the palm of my hand, like maybe like a quarter size amount. I will spread it evenly throughout my hands and then I will just run it through my hair from about here down. And it just works beautifully. Now, this product is not super nourishing. I think there's a difference between something being very aesthetically pleasing on the hair versus being truly nourishing on the hair. And so nourishing comes in the form of this leave-in conditioner, which is the Briogeo Rosarco Milk Don't Despair Repair Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. This is the old packaging. I know they have new packaging now, but I bought this in bulk like a long time ago, so I've just continued to use the old packaging. I wanna clarify something that I never use these two on the same day, because it just weighs my hair down way too much. So either I use this one or I use this one. I don't use them on the same day, but um, I would say that I tend to use this one a little bit more often just because I love the ingredients of it. It has, you know, coconut oil, argan oil, shea butter, it has just several acetate, it has just like a ton of really beautiful oils. It smells really, really good. Fragrance and hair care is that one thing that I feel like I can get away with because it's not going to irritate my scalp because I don't put it on my scalp. I put it on, you know, the roots and like the midsection of my hair. So this is a really beautiful leave-in conditioner. It is very lightweight. It doesn't weigh my hair down because like I said, I really struggle with having volume in my hair and so I find that this does not weigh my hair down a super crazy amount. I do have to be careful with how much I spray in my hair because if I spray too much, my hair kind of um, clumps together when it's dry, which means that there's just too much conditioner in my hair, so it hasn't dried properly. It's a little bit too oily. Um, but when I spray it in the right amount, I would say about three to four sprays for my, the current length of hair that I have, three to four sprays for my entire body of hair is completely adequate to cover everything. So something interesting that I've noticed is that I used to be a serial hair putter upper. I used to put my hair up all the dang time in a bun, in a ponytail, um, just all the time I would do that. And I would use, I don't have them with me, but I would use those just like black hair ties, the like stretchy black hair ties. I forget who sells them, but you know what I'm talking about. They're like, very standard black stretchy hair ties. I found that it was causing a lot of breakage in my hair because um, putting your hair up constantly stresses out your hair and so I was finding that I was getting a lot of breakage doing that. Since then, I have stopped putting my hair up so often. Um, I will leave my hair down more often than not and I have transitioned to using silk scrunchies and these are such a game changer. I really do love these. So I have a bunch of them here and they're from the company um, Mick, M-Y-K Silk. They make really, really cute scrunchies. I really love these. I was sent these um, like a month ago and I have just loved the way that they feel on my hair. They are super cute. Um, and I find that with normal black hair ties, if I put my hair up and then take my hair down, I will have a lot of hair that gets pulled out when I take my hair out, the ponytail or the bun. But when I use these silk scrunchies, I find that none of my hair gets pulled out when I take my hair down. Um, and it actually does a very, very good job of staying in place. Cause I've talked about this previously, but I'm like, I'm really on a yoga kick right now doing vinyasa yoga. And so like, that's like a pretty aggressive yoga class where like you're flowing through movement and everything um, you're like upside down so I need my hair to stay in place and so I was very hesitant to start using these because I didn't want my hair to like fly out of its ponytail in the middle of class but they have done a remarkably good job of staying in my hair it doesn't slide out of my hair at all which I know can be a concern for me because I do have quite silky hair that doesn't hold you know 
like accessories very well but i find that these silk scrunchies are really really nice also from the same company mcsilk um i got a silk pillowcase from them which is just luxury so uh, it's in this beautiful champagne color i think it's so pretty and so glamorous and it's so soft um there are like a number of benefits to using um you know silk and satin pillowcases for your hair and for your skin i personally have not seen like a crazy huge difference in you know the quality of my hair or the quality of my skin but I will say that the softness and the coolness of it makes sleeping really, really enjoyable. And it's just something special and something fancy to do for yourself to just get like a silk pillowcase. Like it feels very bougie and very indulgent, but these pillowcases are actually not that expensive, which I think is really exciting because a lot of silk pillowcases are like 80 or $90. This one is not that expensive. I will leave a link for everything that I talked about in the info box down below so you can go shop around. But um, yeah, those are, some really key products that I use for maintaining the health of my hair. So in terms of dry shampoo, I am very passionate about dry shampoo because I hate having dirty hair and it has to be a good dry shampoo because I do have dark hair. So anything like a white cast will show up very easily in my hair. So hands down, the best dry shampoo that I've ever tried is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I can't say enough good things about this. It just works for me. So the way that it works is that you will spray it at your roots, you know, a fair amount, like a fair distance away from your hair. You leave it in your hair for 30 seconds to a minute and then you rub it in. And I think that step of letting it dry in your hair and then rubbing it into your hair is really critical because I find that it really does absorb the excess oil and mask the scent of like dirty hair. The scent of it is really nice. It's not perfumey. It's very clean and very fresh. It doesn't compete with my perfume that I wear. And it actually cleans my hair so nicely. I can use this multiple days in a row and it doesn't make my hair look gray or white or anything. Um, it does take down the shine of my roots, obviously, because the oil is being masked. Um, but you can't tell that I have any product in my hair, which I like. So perfect hair dry shampoo, really, really beautiful. Also, I got this as a freebie from Ulta, which by the way, Ulta, I'm learning, is way better than Sephora. The rewards program is just incredible. So this is a living proof full dry volume blast. I haven't used it in my hair today, so you're seeing my hair just like with no product in it except for this leave-in conditioner. But um, normally when I have clean hair, I will blast this in my hair very quickly at the roots just to add a little bit of vol volume, a little bit of body and volume to my hair. And it works so nicely, like it smells so good. It does not smell like the dry shampoo in my opinion. It's a little bit sweeter, but I, I don't mind it. I think it smells really nice. And just like, I love being that girl that has really good smelling hair. You know what I mean? Like when someone gives you a hug and they're like, oh, you smell so good. I'm always like, oh, thanks. So that is basically my entire hair care routine. As you can see, it is not elaborate. It's not crazy. It's not over the top. It's what works for my hair. So if we have similar products, let me know and let me know your experience with them. But overall, I think simplicity is key when it comes to my hair type because it is so fine and so silky and so not thin, but it's not like it doesn't have a crazy amount of body to it. Simplicity is key so that you're not weighing your hair down with a ton of products So I want to know what your hair care routine is Please comment down below with your hair type and what kind of products you use on it If you have my hair type and you have really good suggestions for me I would love to hear it because I'm always wanting to try the next best thing for my hair um, But yeah, anyway, that's it for me. Have a beautiful week and I will see you in my next video. Bye